Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to add design or color to your PowerPoint presentation. So go ahead and open up your PowerPoint and what you're going to do is you're going to click on the design option at the top of the PowerPoint window. When this loads you have all these different templates to choose from. So for example you can click on one and see what you like. So I'm going to go ahead and experiment with these options and I'll be right back. In addition to these very attractive templates, you also have the option to go to background styles. You can choose a color, a style, you can also go to format background and you can choose from here. If you wanted just a solid color, you would choose solid fill. If you wanted a gradient fill, you would choose this. So for example, if you want a solid fill, you would then click on the paint bucket and choose the color. You would say apply to all in this case because consistency is good design. If you wanted the entire slide to be solid black, you would need to get rid of this design. So you want to come up here into the design and choose the blank design. And then you'd have to go back again to the fill and color it. So you might want to just really experiment in this area until you find something that you like. One thing you need to know is that whatever design you choose, it w might affect the layout of your slides. So you might want to see how that, that layout looks with the images on those slides to determine if you want to keep that design. Now I really like this design layout, but I want to change the color scheme. So to do that, you would come up to the top with the design still t clicked on and you would choose colors. Now you can scroll over and see what it looks like if you scroll over different color schemes. So you want to, might want to experiment in this area as well. Now if you want to customize the colors, you'd say create new theme and then you would determine which is which. So in this case, the background dark, you might want to just experiment, apply it, say save, and see what that looks like. You would want to go to create new themes and you can change a variety of things within that theme. So again, this is something that you're going to want to experiment with until you're happy with the results. So I found a color that I'm happy with. We will talk about changing the color of the text momentarily. In the meantime, I wanted you to take note of the border around each of these images. Now I'm really picky. Uh, notice how the border around all of these images is roughly the same thickness. However, on China it is not. Now if you want the same thickness on all of them, you would hold down the shift key and grab all of these images and then you would go to format and choose the picture border and then you would apply a weight. And you can see what that's going to look like when you scroll over. I'll choose a weight of one. It's a very thin, elegant border. I like thin, I don't like thick. Now here's the deal, to change that color, maybe you want it to be a dark orange. What you would do is you would go back to the design, go into colors, go into create new theme colors, and here you would locate that accent and then choose the color that you want. So for example, if I want it to be a dark, a darker shade of that orange, I would save it and it would apply that color around the borders. I will show you how that applied to all the other slides. Notice that color. Now the only difference is then is I will hold the shift key again. Oops, I made a mistake. Control Z for undo. I will select all of those images. I'll go back up to format, outline, weight, and set it to one. We want to be consistent, so I will do this to all of the slides. We are now ready to start talking about changing the text on all the slides. Do you remember earlier when I said don't touch the font? The reason is, if you would have come to each individual slide and selected the font and then changed it there, the method I'm about to demonstrate would not work. What you want to do is you want to change it in the master slide. I will click on that first slide. I will then go to View, Slide Master. When this pops up, you come in and you change the text here. So I'll go ahead and look for a font that I want for my first slide. So let's try Bernard. And I'm going to change the font color to a dark blue. And that looks fabulous. Now for this, I will also change it to a dark blue. So I'll go ahead and close the master view and you will see that change on that first slide. I will now change it on these following slides. So I'll click on the second slide. I'll choose the view option, slide master, and then I'll select 
the font. I'll change this to Bernard as well. And I'll change the color to the dark blue. And go ahead and close that so I can show you the change. Now see the white? I'm going to need to go in and change that in the master. So I'll go to the view, slide master, go ahead and take this, and I'm going to change the font color. I do like that dark blue. I think it complements well. To change the bullet color, you would right click in front of that text and choose bullets, bullets and numbering. You can change the style of the bullet and the color. So I'll apply the same color. Maybe I'll change the bullet so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll say OK. I will then close the master view and you can see those changes being made. Now to change the title on all these slides, I'll go ahead and click on the third slide. I will choose View, Slide Master, select the text, right click, I'm going to set the font to Bernard again. I will also make sure the color is what I've been using consistently. I will now close the master. So you can see how you can change things at once. It's fabulous to have that option. So for now, you can go ahead and apply a design to your slide presentation and change the text to what you would like. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.